Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Cali Playground, home of Lynn Shore Baseball for the Lynn City Series. This is the finals of the winner's bracket. Pine Hill is the home team. West Lynn. West Lynn's played a game. They beat Wyoming 5-4. to four. Pine Hill would have played. They drew a, a forfeit. Lynn Shore didn't have enough players. So Pine Hill, Westland has to win two games to get in the final. The, the one they won in this one, Pine Hill only has to win one. Oyoma would have had to win three. They won one, lost one. Hit. Nice stop by the second baseman. Can't make a play. Terrific play by J.J. Avery. But Janir Rodriguez will get a base hit. He stopped him from going in the outfield, but he had no chance of throwing him out. So a hit right off the bat, Armani Medina. Westland beat Wyoming 5-4. to four. They did all their damage in the first two innings. Getting five runs, getting one in the first and four in the second. Well, they got two in the first and three in the second. But they got five in the first two and won the game 5-4. to four. In for a strike. Janil Guzman is the pitcher for Pine Hill. Down and in for a ball, a throw, can't get him, he's got a stolen base. Well, they have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. Trying to get on the board. First here in the top of the first. In for a strike. And the first time in a while, there have been a few early on. That's ball four. First time in a while, it is a female playing. Megan Baker. The left fielder right in front of us for Pine Hill is a female. And that one goes to the backstop. They'll move the runners up with the wild pitch. I can think of Sharon Nicosia and Joanne Dooley. There were a few others played in the past. Swing and a miss. This is Ben Marciano, who's the winning pitcher in the first game. He's the third baseman in this one. Swing and a miss again. It's a foul off the backstop. Richie Avery is the head guy for Pine Hill. You see him all the time. He's the guy that takes care of him, watches over Manning Field and Frazier Field for all the activities, does a great job. Rich Contreras, who's coaching third right now, is the head guy for West Lynn. Eddie Lewis is one of his assistants and all time really very, one of the better athletes in the city of Lynn. Football and basketball. They're hoping to get this one in. It's overcast. It's been threatening rain. A couple of drops. It rained for a few minutes. Stopped. Sun came out. Sun's gone back in. It's comfortable now because it's a very nice breeze. Tony Luciano is the base umpire. Tony was deeply involved in Little League Wyoming. He ran all the tournaments. Ran a state tournament there. Did a great job. Helps out with the Babe Ruth program. 
and it's called strike three for the first out. He gets deeply involved in anything that's involved with the kids in the community. He does a terrific job. Andy Lee, the first baseman, is the hitter. In for a strike. Guzman can bring it. Swing and a miss. That was almost in a catcher's glove when he swung a little. Not really a full swing, just almost like a half or three quarter swing. And that's strike three. So a single, a walk, a wild pitch, put runs in second, third with nobody out. Back to back strikeouts. Christian Figueroa, they left it up to him. Try and get somebody home. Ball got away. Catcher made the nice play. Stevie Pedro. Picked up the loose ball, got back to the plate, and tagged out Rodriguez trying to score. So Westland threatens, and they come up empty. They leave actually one on. They had second and third, and nobody out. So I didn't give the Westland batting order. I'll do that when they come up. But for Pine Hill, C.V. Pedro, the catcher, leads off. Janiel Guzman, the pitcher, bat second. Batting third and playing shortstop, Chris Champa. In the cleanup spot is Willie McCafferty, the center fielder. The left fielder, Megan Baker, bats fifth. Batting sixth and playing first base is Richie Avery. The other half of the Avery family, J.J. Avery, the second baseman, bats number seven. Batting eighth and playing third base, Nicky Rogers. And the right fielder, Jury Avello, will hit in the number nine spot and play right field. Janiel Rodriguez on the mound for West Lynn. West Lynn, one of the originals. When it started way back in 1951, it was West Lynn and East Lynn only. And it wasn't a city series. It was actually a Jimmy Fun game played at Fraser Field under the lights. It was the first, what you'd call a makeshift Jimmy Fund. Or city series. Maybe Pedro, who made that nice play behind the plate for the third out, leads it off. Drills it to left field, just foul. He hit a shot, and it stayed fair all the way out, and at the last minute, it was about a foot foul. It almost bounced in my lap. Solid shot, just went foul. That one bounces in the home plate.
hit the shot, you're not going to get him. He beat it. Kind of slowed down on the grass. Medina got it. Good strong throw. Pedro just beat it out. Janiel Guzman, the pitcher, was the hitter. Hit in a left field for a base hit. Pedro kept going. The throw got away. Guzman winds up at third. Pedro winds up scoring. They tried to throw Pedro out at third. He held up initially. When the ball was bobbled, he took off. They had him with a good throw, and they threw it wild. And Guzman hustled in the third. So two hits and an, an error. Give Pine Hill a run. Strike three call, good pitch by Rodriguez. Gets Chris Champa for the first out. Willie McCafferty, the center fielder, will be the hitter. Hit foul to the backstop. Missing up and in for a ball. I mentioned A. Lewis, an assistant for Westland. Coach Botchnik, another prominent citizen in the city of Lynn, helping to coach Pine Hill. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. So two away. And here comes that female we talked about, Megan Baker. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen one. In for a strike. That goes to the backstop. Safe at the plate. The wild pitch brings Guzman in. That one didn't bounce well for West Lane. It bounced off the backstop and bounced down the first base line. The pitcher had to go get it. And had no chance to get Guzman, who scores. So the wild pitch brings the run in. Looked like he might, might have been able to get out of it with only one run. Swing and a miss. And that's strike three, so Rodriguez strikes out the side. He gave up two hits. The error and the wild pitch cost him. Pine Hill grabs a two nothing lead. The error was big. The wild pitch was big. So at the end of one, Pine Hill, two, West Lynn, nothing. Christian Figueroa leads off against Guzman in the second inning. 
So wrestling had second or third, nobody out. Couldn't score. Now they get a base hit. So they both started started both innings with a base hit. Jacob Peterson, the catcher, will be the hitter. Two strikeouts and a runner out at the plate on a ball off the catcher trying to score. Got whistling. Oh, got Pine Hill out of the inning. They almost bought out of water. Two quick strikes to Jacob Peterson. Way up inside for a ball. Some of these players for both teams will be playing with the Lynn team that will be suiting up for the Gallant tournament. And for the second year, I believe it's the second year in a row, at Beverly. Still can't play at Salem with the do over for the field. Good foul past first base. Nice way to go. Lynn's got some pretty good players. Beverly went deep in the Winsport tournament. Davis. Still in the Williamsport tournament, but Peabody West went very deep. And should Danvers get knocked off, we hope they don't, but if they get knocked off this weekend in the state championship tournament, that's another team to contend with in the Gallant. And that's ball four, so we out in front, it winds up walking Peterson. So for the second inning in a row, Westland has two on with nobody out. Victor Contreras, he was the one that got up and started bat. He's the coach's son. The coach had to grab him and say, not yet, you're up next. They were almost bat out of water. Reach Avey out to talk. To Janiel Guzman. Chase that pitcher was over his head. Got a young girl announcing. She announces their first names. Number three, Victor. That one bounces and goes to the backstop. And it's a good thing they didn't go because it bounced right back to Pedro, who was. Looking to throw the ball to third baseman Rogers, and the runner at second Figueroa hadn't got off the bag. That was in for a strike. One and two. And that's strike three. All four outs have been strikeouts. Three in a row in the first. One to start the second. J.J. Avery, excuse me, Victor Contreras. Was the one that struck out. Joe Bollier is the hitter. Back-to-back -back strikeouts again. Very quickly, Bolia goes down. Eddie Lewis, son of the assistant coach, takes the pitch for a strike.
hit the second. J.J. Avery over to the first baseman, Richie Avery. The Avery family takes care of the third out. So for the second inning in a row, Westland puts the first two batters on base, and they leave him on base. Four strikeouts in two innings for Guzman. And for Pine Hill, it'll be six, seven, and eight. Richie Avery, J.J. Avery, who just combined for that third out, and Nicky Rogers, the third baseman, facing Janir Rodriguez, who will start his second inning of work. The winner of this will sit back, save their pitching, and play probably Saturday and have to win one game. The loser will drop down the loser's bracket and have to win three games. They would have to, this being Wednesday, Eastland and Wyoming will play on Thursday. The winner of that will play the loser of this game. And the winner of the loser's bracket will have to beat the winner of this game twice. So starting tomorrow, Eastland or Wyoming would have to win four games to win the city championship. And that's what happens when you get in the loser's bracket. You hate to drop in the loser's bracket early, even when there's only five teams. You're going to use up a lot of pitching. So much easier to stay in the winner's bracket. Richie Avery, the first baseman, will lead it off for Pine Hill in the second inning. Swing and a miss. Rodriguez starting his second inning. Swing and a miss again. Strike three called. Rodriguez makes quick work of the first out. The other half of the Avery family, J.J., the second baseman, is the hitter. Squares the button, fouls it off. You see him laying tight for a ball. 1-1 one, one the count. Lined in the center field for a base hit. Around first, into second with a double. Got all of that one, drilled it in the right center field. Third hit for Pine Hill, gives him a runner in scoring position for Nicky Rogers, the third baseman. Takes the pitch for a strike, he squared the button, took it. Pop foul back and out of play. Uh, for a ball. Hit 
right at the right fielder. Had it, dropped it. The runner will get to third. They had to wait to see if the ball would be caught. So the error in the outfield allows Rogers to reach. Hit right at the right field at the last minute. He tried to make like a basket catch. It went off his glove. So first and third for Jury Ayavello. Now the ball gets away. And they run back to the prospective bases. Didn't go far enough for anybody to go. Pine Hill trying to add to their lead. They lead 2 nothing. They have second and third. Swing and a miss for strike three. Top of the order, Stevie Pedro got a base hit. His first time up, scored the first run. Hit foul back and out of play. Stevie is another member of a prestigious family in the city, the Pedro family. Unfortunately, we don't have Pistol anymore. Passed away earlier. A tremendous loss for the city, for the kids. Hit the shot. Nice play by the shortstop. They throw Pedro out for the third out. Medina at shortstop. Good strong throw throws him out. So the double and the error don't hurt. They keep him off the board with second and third. The big strikeout helps out. Nice play by Medina at shortstop. We're through two in this Lynn City Series winner's bracket final. Pine Hill leading West Lynn 2-0. Top of the order for West Lynn as we start the third inning. Willie Ross Payne is the new left fielder. Taking him over from Megan Baker. High and tight for a ball. In for a strike. High for a ball. Low for a ball. Hit foul off the backstop. And it's ball four. So for the third inning in a row, Westland gets the leadoff in a run. This time with a walk, second walk given up by Guzman. Amani Medina, the shortstop, will be the hitter. Off the backstop. It's a major league wild pitch. Hit halfway up the backstop on the fly. You can hear it, there's like a there's a tin sign that says Lynn Shore League it's, that they put right behind home plate and banged off that. And that one goes off the catcher's glove. And all of a sudden, West Lynn has a runner at third base. So a wild pitch and a pass ball puts a runner at third with nobody out.
in for a strike. That's ball four. So, tying runs on for West Lynn here in the top of the third. Ben Marciano was called on the strikes. His one trip. And it's going to move the runner over to second base. Another wild pitch off that tin sign. So both tying runs in scoring position now for Westland. Marciano got a big hit against Wyoming in the second inning. Got a base hit knocked in two that turned out to be the winning runs. Or the winning run. As they won it five to four. Swing and a miss. Wound up stepping towards the Westland's dugout, swinging at that one. Swing through it again. Late swing, cut a piece, fouled it off, and stays alive. This is the second inning. They've had second and third with nobody out. Swing and a miss. Five of the seven outs have been strikeouts. Andy Lee, the first baseman, struck out. Swings and misses. In for strike two. Yeah, that's strike three. So every time it looks like Westland's got a Something going. Guzman comes up with a strikeout pitch. Into right field for a base hit. Two out lightning for West Lynn. Christian Figueroa gets his second hit. It's a big two out single. And West Lynn ties it up so it looked like Guzman might be getting out of it again when there's two strikeouts. But Figueroa dumps it in the right field for a base hit. So the two walks come around to score. And we've got a dead even game at two. Christian Figueroa, a little two out lightning for West Lynn. Back to back strikeouts. Looking good for Pine Hill, and Christian Figueroa dumps it in. Jacob Peterson walked his first time. Swing and a miss. Coach's worst nightmare, based on balls. In for strike two. Blowing away for a ball. High for a ball. And that's ball four. He had him in the third walk in the inning. 
Second time Peterson has walked. Extends the inning for Victor Contreras, who was called on in strikes as one trip. First two walks scored on the two out hit by Figueroa. After a while, pitch moved them up. In for a strike. Guzman doesn't take much time. And that's strike three. So he strikes out the side. But in between, he gives up three walks, two of them score. And all of a sudden, we've got a dead even game. They get two runs on one base hit, the big two out hit by Figueroa. Three walks in the inning, seven strikeouts in three innings for Guzman. And now we're dead even. And for Pine Hill, it'll be two, three, and four in the bottom of the third inning. Walks, coach's worst nightmare. Walked the first two, two wild pitches, moved them to second and third. Figueroa with the big dump into right field for a base hit. Janiel Guzman, the pitcher, will lead it off. Chris Champa, Will Willie McCafferty to, to follow in what's now a 2-2 game. We mentioned the winner of this is in the driver's seat, only has to win one more game. They'll go to the tournament final game. The loser is stuck having to win three. They would have to beat the winner of tomorrow's game, Wyoming. Eastland will be meeting for the second time. Wyoming beat them opening the tournament. And then the loser of this would have to beat the winner of that. And coming out of the loser's bracket, the team would have to beat the winner of this game twice. Guzman got a base hit and scored a run. Down and in for a ball. Janir Rodriguez starting his third inning of work. This is with the first two pitches. High for a ball. Rodriguez has struck out five of the six outs. He goes after the pitch and hits it in. He hustles in the second base. It kind of slowed down in the grass. He went after the three and zero pitch. He usually don't give the green light on three and zero. Guzman winds up with a double. Great hustle by Guzman. He hit it into center field. The grass kind of slowed it down. He can run. He flew into second base. Chris Champa, the shortstop, gets a few words of wisdom from Rich Avery, his coach. Let's see if they try to bunt the runner over to third. Hit foul off the mask of the umpire.
Hit in the air to center field. That's going to be in the gap. Cruising will score easily. Back-to-back -back doubles. Champa gets a double and breaks the tie. So it took two hitters from Pine Hill to get the lead back. Willie McCaffrey struck on swinging. So two gappers, one to right center, one to left center. Hit foul off the backstop. Hit foul again. Missing inside for a ball. Hit in the left field for a base hit. They send the runner home. Throw the play will not be in time. Hustling all the way into third is McCafferty. Pine Hills got their two run cushion back. And they got a runner at third with nobody out. Willie Ross Pena will be up for the first time. He went in to play left field. They stay with Rodriguez. Tried a button, fouled it off. Hit in the right field for a base hit. And he'll swing in the bat in the third inning. Willie Ross Payne in his first at bat gets a base hit in an RBI. Four hitters, three of them have scored. Richie Avery, the first baseman. Bats left, throws right. In for a strike. He was called on a strikes his first trip. Swing and a miss. High and away for a ball. Swing for strike three. J.J. Avery, the other half of the Avery family, he got a double his first time up. And he rips it in the right field, off the right fielder's glove. He had it, the runner had to hold up at first. Avery reaches on the error. He had it and just couldn't hold on to it. Nicky Rogers hit a fly ball to the right field that was dropped. He hits it foul out of play. So 2 1, 1 out, three runs in, Pine Hill. Saw so Westland tie it up. Now they just pulled away.
to the backstop. They throw it away. And they throw it away again. Two errors on the play allowed the runners to move up. Three errors in the inning. They had them hooked up. They threw it away at second base. And then they threw it away at third base. So both runners move up to second and third. Three errors in the inning. And that's the second strikeout. So Rodriguez has to get strikeouts to get himself out of the inning. Billy Bocknack is the hitter. Hit in the center field for a base hit. A little more two out lightning. Now they throw it away again. Bocknack with a big base hit. Two out lightning again. That brings another trip out to the mound. Bocknack jumped all over that pitch and drilled it in the center field. Two run score when they threw the ball home. When they threw the ball back, it went all the way to the catcher and that allowed Bocknack to screw it into second base. They stay with Rodriguez. CV Pedro. He's the ninth hitter in the inning. It's a foul out of play. He has singled and scored and bounced out to the shortstop. So Willie Ross Payne here, Billy Buckner coming up with big base hits. Hit by the third baseman for a base hit. Pedro gets a base hit. They throw the ball over the third baseman's head for yet another error. Barknack had to wait to see if the third baseman caught the ball so he didn't run into an out. Guzman, who started the inning with a double and scored, is the hitter and they're going to walk him intentionally. Chris Champa doubled in a run and scored a run in this inning. Called on a strike his first trip. Swing and a miss. So the bases are loaded with two outs. In for a strike. Five runs in for Pine Hill. High for a ball. High again for a ball. And that's ball four. Champa gets his second RBI in the inning with a walk. The 
Lily McCafferty singled in a run and scored a run in this inning. He struck out the first time. Twelfth hitter in the inning for Pine Hill. Nice play by the first baseman, going way to his right, picked that one off. So they finally get out of the inning. Twelve hitters go to the plate. Six of them score. After, after seeing Westland tie it at two, Pine Hill gets six, and it's eight to two. Pine Hill at the end of three. Joe Bowley is the right fielder, leading it off. In for a strike. So Guzman has given a good size lead. Five errors in the inning by Wes Lynn. Waved at that pitch. He swung high and the pitch was low. And he waved at that pitch too for for strike three. Mark Bergeron will hit for Lewis. High for a ball. So both coming off the bench, Billy Bachnack and Willie Ross Pena Wind up getting base hits and knocking in runs. Pena knocked in one, Bachnack knocked in two. So the sub's getting into the act for Pine Hill. And that's strike three. Guzman has at least two strikeouts in every inning. He struck out the side in the third. Two walks cost him two runs, but he struck out the side. Whistling at the first two one in the first, back to back strikeouts. The runner at third tried to score, was tagged out at the plate. They got the first two one in the second. Back-to-back -back strikeouts are ground out the second. They got the first two out, two one in the third. Looked like they might get out of it with two strikeouts. But Figueroa got a big, after a couple of wild pitches, Figueroa got a big two out hit to tie the game at two. But now Pine Hill bats around 12 hitters in the third inning and scores six times. Junior Rodriguez has singled and walked and scored a run. In for a strike. With the counts for you know he took two. Now he can't be as fussy. Takes it for ball four. So he's on for the third time. Five walks given up by Guzman. Armani Medina has walked twice. Second time he scored. Off the backstop. Well, when Guzman is throwing a wild pitch, he's throwing a major league wild pitch. He's hitting the backstop on the fly. Hit 
in the air, not far enough, not high enough for anybody to go get it. First baseman Avery was the only one that had a chance. It fouled off the backstop. Coach Avery chasing down the foul ball. Taps that one, just stuck the bat out and got a piece and fouled it into the playground, out of play. Reached again and just got a piece out in front of the plate. Drop the foul again. Go to pat my Badina. He's making Guzman throw a lot of pitches. Yeah, we went to the backstop, but bounced right back to Pedro, so Rodriguez wasn't going anywhere. Hits it in the right field for a base hit. A little more two out lightning for West Lynn. The runs have come with two outs. Medina's on for the third time. It's an RBI. Rodriguez scores his second run. Top of the order doing the job. Rodriguez and Medina have been up. Six times, they've been on base six times. And Guzman's gonna come out of the ball game. McCafferty is going to be the new pitcher. Champ of the shortstop is going to go to center field. And Guzman, the pitcher, was going to go to shortstop. So he goes three and two thirds. Strikes out nine. Walks five. And all three runs that scored were part of that. Five walks he gave up. Gave up five hits. The three runs were earned. Chase that pitch who was down in the dirt. Try to golf that one. Marciano was struck out twice. McCaffrey came, a little submarine, little side on him that time. Dropped down. That one bounces in. And that's ball four. Number 
Andy Lee, first baseman, has struck out twice. One goes to the backstop and bounces right back to Pedro. Keeps the runs at first and second. In for a strike. Now the swing with the ball is by him. He's not getting out in front. He's way behind on the swing. And that's a foul ball. It went off. It looks like hey, Coach Contreras is saying it. It hit him, but it hit the bat and his hand at the same time. Kind of shook him up a little bit. Went foul towards the Pine Hill dugout. And that's ball four. Well, the bases are loaded. Christian Figueroa, a single twice, he got a base hit, knocked in two to tie the game. Chance for one or two or more RBI here with the bases loaded. That's that side arm. Hit. Third hit. Not in time at the plate. They might have got him at third. Another big hit by Figueroa. His third hit in the ball game. He's got two more RBI. They walked three in the third, two of them scored. They've walked three here in the fourth, and two of them have scored. Jacob Peterson's been up twice, has walked twice. Hit foul off the backstop. Strike three, Claude. So eight go to the plate. Three of them score. Two base hits, the big two out lightning again. The hit by Medina, then the two RBI hit by Figueroa, his third of the game. Everything with two outs. They've cut into the lead. It's now eight to five. Again, walk short. Seven walks given up by Pine Hill pitching. They've struck out 10. Westland hitters, and we'll move into the bottom half of the fourth. 
Rodriguez still on the mound for West Lynn. Willie Ross Pena and the Avery family, Richie and JJ, will be the three hitters. They've changed it around a little bit. The catcher Peterson is now playing third. Bergeron is the center fielder. So I'm assuming that Marciano went behind the plate. Swing and a miss. This is Kayshawn Fulton, who's the hitter. He's the third hitter in the left field spot. He's hitting for Pena, who was up once, got an RBI hit, and scored a run in that big six run third inning. Strike three call, Rodriguez trying to get, reacting to the cheering of the Pine Hill, do a little dance on the mound, then he throws strike three. I think he wants to pay more attention to the hitter. High and wide for a ball. Rich Avery has struck out twice, once called and once swinging. Try to hold up and couldn't. One, two, the count. High and tight for a ball. High for a ball again. Rodriguez is starting to pitch. Avery was out of the bounds box. Everybody stopped. And that's ball four. J.J. Avery doubled, reached on an arrow when his fly ball was dropped out in right field. And I think we got a pinch runner at first base. Hit foul back and out of play. Swing and a miss. And the runner takes off. And they throw the ball away. And he scores. 
The ball went off the catcher's glove. They threw it in the center field. The pass ball, he went to second base. The error on the throw to into center field. And the error on the throw to third base. And Richie Avery comes all the way around to score. That's strike three. And with the new rule in effect, it went in a couple of years ago. It used to be if you strike out, you're out. Now, if you strike out, the catcher has to catch the ball or you can go to first base. Nine strikeouts for Rodriguez. Nicky Rogers reached on an arrow. Struck out swinging. Hits it in the right field for a base hit. And I think that might be it for Rodriguez. Medina will be the new pitcher. Rodriguez will go to shortstop. So Medina will face Pui Bocknack. And it bounces off, as you can probably hear, off the tin sign. Squares the bunt, the third baseman charged, and when he charged, Nicky Rogers stole third base. Squared the bunt, took the pitch for a strike. Bucknack's been up once. He came in relief in right field, got a base hit, knocked in two runs, and scored a run. He was half the offense in the third inning. He scored six runs. He scored one and knocked in two. And he draws a walk. He's been up twice. He's been on base twice. He was going to go right to second base. They threw it quickly to Rodriguez at second. He had his group back to first. Stevie Pedro, the leadoff hitter, is the hitter. He singled and scored, grounded out the shot, and singled. He's two for three with a run scored. And the ground of the shot was solidly hit. It went right at the shot stop. It's easy if you hear that you know it if it's a wild pitch. The backboard has been taking a beating. Chased the high pitch over his head. We hear it. Kylie Park, home of Lynn Shore, because Lynn Shore has won the City Series two years in a row. They were looking for three to retire the trophy. And they're not going to get it done. They've already been eliminated. They were the first team out. Pitch way over his head, and he swung at that one. So three more strikeouts in the inning, but they hit the run on that bizarre play, the, the walk, the ball off the catcher's glove, throwing the ball at the center field, throwing the ball over the third baseman's head, J.J. Avery going all the way around to score the run. Pine Hill adds another one. It's now nine to five Pine Hill at the end of four. Seven, eight, and nine for West Lynn. Sean Fulton stays in the game in left field. He was in a, as a pinch hitter. Victor Contreras is the hitter. He has struck out twice. Swing and a miss. 
He's facing McCafferty for the first time. Both pitching staff have struck out 10. Pine Hill is walk seven. Westland is walk four. But Westland has made nine errors. They've thrown the ball all over the ballpark. And that's strike three. High for a ball. Joe Bollier has struck out twice. Once called, one swinging. In for a strike. In for strike two, one and two. That one bounced the home plate. So we'll have a new site for the 2019 City Series. As the defending champion, Lynn Shore was the first team eliminated. Swing and a miss for strike three. Fifth time we've had back-to-back -back strikeouts. They've struck out the side in the third and fourth, but there were hits or walks in between, but five times they've got back-to-back -back strikeouts. That's Eddie Lewis getting hit with the pitch in the back. His dad, Eddie, we mentioned before, very good Lynn athlete. Well, as the first base comes coming to check on his son. Janine Rodriguez is perfect. Singled, walked, walked, scored twice. He's one for one with two runs scored. He's been on base three times. Tip off the pitcher's glove. Deflected away. Rodriguez gets another infield hit. Keeps the inning alive. It bounced off the pitcher. Guzman was going to his left to try and field it. He had to go back to his right to get it. Wouldn't have had a play. The runner at second was already there. Wouldn't have had a play at first. Medina has been on base three times, two walks a hit, and I'll be on. And he scored a couple. And now they're going to move up on the wild pitch. They'd love to get these two runs home. Foul out of play. McCaffrey working very quickly. Medina just stepped back in the box when McCaffrey was throwing the pitch. Hit to the shortstop. Nice play by Guzman. Had to go a couple of steps to his left. That was a solid shot to get Medina for the first time. So they leave. Two on again, they've left a lot of base runners on base. They they got the base hit. 
They got to hit Bashman, the wild pitch, move them up. We'll move into the bottom half of the fifth. With Pine Hill on top, nine to five. That was an opportunity for Westland to get a little bit closer. That was a solid shot by Medina and a very nice play by Guzman, the shortstop. Medina Mack on the mound. Remind everybody, if you're just tuning in, this is the 2018 Lynn Little League City Series. This is the final of the winner's bracket. The winner of this will have to win one more game. The loser drops in the loser's bracket with Wyoming and East Lynn. And the winner of those that triumphant coming out of the loser's bracket would have to beat the winner of this game twice. Eddie Lewis is back in center field. Janiel Guzman has singled, doubled, and walked. He scored two. He's on base three times. Hit the foul out of play. Wave way out in front of that pitch. Waved at it. Low for a ball. That one bounced in. And that's ball four. Guzman's on for the fourth time. Chris Champa, they got him the first time, struck out. Double in a run, scored in the third, walked, forcing in a run. Both of those RBIs coming in the third inning when Pine Hill batted around, sent 12 to the plate and scored six times. Nice to bunt and fouls it off. Swing and a miss. Guzman steals second as Champa strikes out. <laughs> Willie McCaffrey was the center fielder. He's now the pitcher. He struck out, singled in a run, and scored in the third, and lined out to the first baseman, ending that third inning. He batted twice in that third inning. Guzman trying to draw a throw at second base. Hit to third. He missed a tag. At the last minute, he realized Guzman was going to third. Tried to tag him and missed him. 
Yet another error. He was going to throw the runner out at first. And at the last minute, he realized Guzman was coming. He tried to turn and tag him, and he missed the tag. Kayshawn Fulton is the hitter. He's been up once and struck out. Off the catcher's glove. Guzman is safe. Out of third. So Guzman scored. McCaffrey tried to go to third. Nice play by the catcher. Marciano throwing it to Peterson, who was the catcher, starting the game. And Peterson did a nice job laying the tag down for the out. But Guzman scores the run to get Pine Hill in double digits. Just a pitch off the glove of the catcher. Guzman hustle, he can run. High and tight for ball four. Richie Avery called on a strike, struck out swinging, walked, and the pitch runner scored for him. In for strike. I think Pena was the pinch runner. Down away for a ball. Off the backboard again. The runner didn't go. Fulton stayed at first base. And that's ball four. So two walks extend the inning. After two out, J.J. Avery reached on an arrow, doubled, scored a run. Last time up, he struck out swinging. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. Top foul. Avery was the one that walked, and when the ball went off to catch his glove, he broke for second. When he tried to throw him out, they threw it in the center field. He kept going, went to third. They threw it over the third baseman's head, and he scored a run. He manufactured the run. Strike three called. So every inning for Westland pitching, they've got at least two strikeouts. But they've made a bushel of errors. They've walked a few. Pine Hill's got a few 
clutch hits. They steal another run in the fifth. We've completed five. It's now 10 to five Pine Hill over West Lynn. Here we go. West Lynn needs a very big inning to stay alive. We're in the top of the sixth. It'll be three, four, and five for West Lynn. McCaffrey will start another inning. Ben Marciano was struck out twice, walked and scored. Called out, struck out swinging, then walked and scored. Hit right back to the pitch of McCafferty. <laughs> you look and say, I hope I catch this. His light passes in front of him. I see him hit it well, hit it right back to the pitcher. One up, one down, Andy Lee. Struck out swinging his first two trips, walked the last time. In for a strike, one on one. Two on the count. Swing and a miss. Wing and a miss for strike three. Pine Hill one out away from getting a little bit of a vacation, not having to play again until Saturday. Having to only play one game to get to the tournament final. And one win away from a city championship. Christian Figueroa was perfect, three base hits. Four RBI. He knocked in two in the third. He knocked in two in the fourth. Hit in the air. Second baseman Avery makes the play. First one, two, three inning of the ball game. And Pine Hill runs and hits their way. They were helped out by quite a few errors by West Lynn. Pine Hill got two in the first. Pedro and Guzman got base hits. An outfield error. Scored a run, then a wild pitch scored the second one. Westland tied it in the third. Rodriguez walked. Medina walked. A couple of wild pitches moved them up. Christian Figueroa got the base hit to tie the game at two, and that's the closest that Westland would come. Pine Hill batted around six. Scored six. Batting 12 hitters, an RBI by Champer, an RBI by McCaffrey, an RBI by Willie Ross Pena, two RBIs by Bill Bocknack. Uh, Champer walked with the bases loaded to get an RBI. It was 8-2, to two, and that was really all she wrote. Westland closed within 8-5. to five. Again, the top of the order after two outs, a walk to Rodriguez, a hit. A wild pitch, a base hit by Medina, scored a run. Walks low the bases. A two RBI hit again by Figueroa. And that made it eight to five, <coughs> eight to five excuse me. They had a run. I, I, I think I said it was J.J. Avery, but it was actually, I believe, Willie Ross Pena drew the walk. When the ball went off the catcher's glove, he broke for second. They threw it into center field. He kept running. They threw it over the third baseman's head. He scored again. That was an inning where they put all kinds of errors on the board, as they did through most of the game. They had another one in the fifth, a walk to Guzman, a stolen base, an infield error, and then the pass ball scored Guzman to make it 10-5, to and that was the final score for West Lynn. Rodriguez, outstanding. He was on base four times, two walks, two hits, scored two runs. Medina had two walks, a single, 
Scored two, knocked in a run. Christi Christian Figueroa had three base hits, knocked in four. Peterson had two walks. On the other side, Pedro had two base hits, scored a run. Guzman was perfect, two walks, a double, a single, scored three. Chris Champa had an RBI double, walked with the bases loaded, forcing in a run and scored a run, all of that in the third inning. He also reached on an error. Willie Ross Pena had a base hit in that big third inning, knocked in a run, scored a run. Richie Avery drew two walks, and running for him, Pena scored the run. J.J. Avery had a double, Reese on error, scored a run. Nicky Rogers, Reese on error, had a base hit. And Billy Barknett coming in relief in that big six-run inning. He was responsible for half the runs. He knocked in two and scored a run in the third inning and also drew a walk to help out coming off the bench. So 10-5, to five, Potton Hill is now the last. It's only their one win, but they, they actually get two because they get a, a, a forfeit off Lynn Shore, so they're actually 2-0, and but it's their first game that they win. That's the first game that Westland loses. They go to 1-1. One and one. Westland will now wait to see who wins Wyoming Eastland tomorrow night. They will play the winner of that game. Pine Hill will wait to see who comes out of the loser's bracket, whether it will be Wyoma, Eastland, or Westland again. They'll have to win one more game to win the city series. Anybody coming out of the loser's bracket will have to win two. So the final score, Pine Hill 10, Westland 5. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.